Hey guys, it's Matthew here from Hearing Tracker, keeping you up to date with all new hearing aid technology. And this is exactly what I'm serving up for you today. Today, we're talking Oticon. And why? Because they've got a brand new hearing aid coming out called Oticon Real. In this video, I'll cover Oticon's improvements over and above their previous Oticon More hearing aids. If you're keen on keeping up to date with the latest news in the hearing technology world, then make sure that you subscribe to this channel, press that gray notifications bell, and you'll be updated every time we release a new video. Oticon released their Oticon More receiver and canal hearing aids exactly two years ago now. And as with all hearing aid manufacturers, this is the pattern that we tend to see in terms of them superseding their existing technology. Then in August 2022, we also saw them update their custom in-the-ear hearing aid family called Oticon Own, which if you're after more details on that hearing aid, I have this review covering everything that there is to know, and I'll post a link in the description to today's video. The new Oticon Real hearing aids will be available in the US as of the 23rd of February and in the UK two weeks later from the 9th of March. The reels look identical to their predecessors and initially will be available in four different models. The Miniright R, which is their rechargeable receiver and canal hearing aid. The Miniright T, which uses a disposable size 312 battery. The Mini BTE R, which is rechargeable and behind the ear. And then finally, the Mini BTE T, which again uses a size 312 battery. You'll note that the Mini BTE and Mini BTE T are behind the ear hearing aids, which can be fitted using both a standard ear mold or a slim tube. There are nine different colors to choose from with a matted finish, and most hearing aid users tend to find something that's the closest color to their hair. Interestingly, unlike other hearing aid manufacturers, such as the new Phonak Lumity, Oticon are sticking with their guns and launching these hearing aids in both the rechargeable and non-rechargeable version at the same time. The rechargeable version should give you a full day of battery life with a three hour charge and the battery version is likely to last just under a week before you need to change the batteries over. So the burning question is, what exactly is new with these Oticon Real hearing aids? From my recent discussions with Oticon, they're focusing on very practical day-to-day -day improvements that I do have patients mentioning periodically in clinic. As a basis, they have all the same key features as the Oticon More family, however, with two key feature developments today. So first of all, let's discuss their wind and handling stabilizer, which runs under the new More Sound Intelligence 2.0. More Sound Intelligence 2.0 is an automatic feature designed to make it easier for you to follow in engaging conversations in more complicated listening environments, such as groups, crowds, and noisy listening situations. It comprehensively scans your sound scene 500 times per second and then organizes and delivers the sound based on the training from the hearing aid's deep neural network. This system is designed to highlight the sounds that will be of interest and create a contrast with the sounds that you're less likely to want to hear. Now, Oticon are claiming that their addition of this new wind and handling stabilizer is the world's first wind and handling noise prevention feature, which detects and cleans up wind and handling noise. But what exactly does that mean? Oticon are boasting that they took this nice lady to one of the world's largest university-owned wind tunnels and tested their new tech against two other hearing aid manufacturers. Poor lady. Their testing showed that the Oticon reel was able to both reduce wind noise and provide better speech clarity where two leading competitors could only perform well in one of those tasks. On top of that, they've also focused their attention on what they call handling noise, which is the sound that your hearing aid makes when it's touched. When I say touch, this can be on purpose, such as pressing the button on the back of your hearing aid, or alternatively, when running your fingers through your hair and catching it by accident. Oticon clearly felt that this was enough of an issue to focus their attention on, and their research shows real to have outperformed those competitor hearing aids by both 14 and 19 decibels. Their second new feature is their sudden sound stabilizer, which runs under the More Sound Amplifier 2.0. The More Sound Amplifier 2.0 works alongside the More Sound Intelligence 2.0 and provides dynamic and balanced amplification, reacting to the nature of the sound scene and then adapting its resolution, and Oticon state that this results in a far more natural listening experience, giving you access to speech, but at the same time not overwhelming you with loud environmental sounds around you. The new sudden stabilizer, sudden sound stabilizer, sudden the new sudden, the new sudden sound stabilizer. Gosh, that's a mouthful. 
is designed to detect both soft, loud, and sudden sounds and to control them so that yes, they're audible, but at the same time, they're not uncomfortably loud or intrusive. This is all whilst maintaining speech audibility at the same time. In practical terms, Oticon boasts that this should reduce your listening effort when you're surrounded by annoying background noises and maintain your ability to hear the speech of the person sat in front of you, which should result in a comfortable, easy listening situation. Now, as I briefly mentioned before, the Oticon Rio has the same foundations as their Oticon More family of hearing aids, such as Bluetooth connectivity, artificial intelligence via the deep neural network, uh, their waterproof rating, etc., etc. But with these two main developments. So, are these changes that we're seeing from Oticon big, life changing developments? Not necessarily. Do they sound like improvements over and above their Oticon More family? Absolutely. Hey guys, it's Matthew here from Hearing Tracker, keeping you up to date with all new hearing aid technology. And it's safe to say I have a real treat for you today coming directly from the Starkey HQ. So make sure that you stay glued to that seat and I'll fill you in on everything that there is to know about Starkey's brand new family of hearing aids called Genesis AI and exactly how Starkey rate them over and above their previous hearing aids, the Evolve AIs. Starkey released their Evolve AI family of hearing aids exactly two years ago now. And they've been drip feeding us various models using the Evolve AI technology ever since then. In fact, the Evolve AI family haven't even been released across the entire globe yet with their Bluetooth CIC still awaiting CE approval in both the EU and the UK. So the big question is, is this new hearing aid a big deal? There are occasions when hearing aid manufacturers bring out a new hearing aid and update an existing chip with a few additional benefits. And it's safe to say that whilst this is a positive step in the right direction, it's not always a huge leap in terms of technology. And this was the case with the Evolve AIs. However, I can tell you that this is definitely not the case with the Genesis AIs, which are brandishing a brand new chip, a brand new style, and a brand new app. But that's not all. Starkey are boasting that it's a whole new patient experience and also a brand new fitting software for the audiologists out there watching, which hasn't happened from Starkey in a long time. So I think that this is definitely one of those occasions when it's safe to say that I can get excited about a new hearing aid. This entirely new family of hearing aids from Starkey look very different from their predecessors and Starkey really are going for it with them including both receiver and canal and custom models and I don't exactly know how they've done this, but it also sounds like they've supercharged them based on some of their claims. Their receiver in Canal RT is rechargeable with the Telecoil, and Starkey are boasting that it will be the longest lasting rechargeable receiver in Canal hearing aid on the market, holding up to 51 hours on a single charge, which is awesome, may I add. Next in line, we have the Emric R, which will be a smaller hearing aid and is again rechargeable, still giving a whopping 41 hours on a single charge as well. In true Starkey fashion, they're also releasing a host of custom hearing aids, although they haven't released a whole lot of images yet. These range from the invisible in canal non wireless, completely in the canal non wireless, in the canal or half shell, and in the ear rechargeable which Starkey are claiming another industry record for a rechargeable custom product with a battery life of 36 hours on a single charge. So the next big question is what exactly is going on inside these new hearing aids? The new processor called the Starkey Neuro Processor is the smallest that Starkey have ever made. And it's also the fastest, processing information four times faster than their previous technology. And it does so more efficiently, leaving more capacity to process speech and process any background noise around you as well. This also feeds into what Starkey are calling their Neurosound technology, which automatically adjusts the hearing aids over 80 million times per hour, which is more than 22,000 times per second, to provide optimal hearing for any listening situation. They've also developed a more advanced compression system with the aim of this being to reduce listening effort, and rather than you having to go out and hunt for the sound that you want to hear, the hearing aid should be able to clean up the signal in front of you and present you with a nice clean piece of information. I'm pretty excited to get my hands on a set of these and will give you a full review when I do. So make sure that you subscribe to be kept up to date with any new technology that we discuss on this channel. I'm also very excited to check out their new app, which Starkey is stating has been completely redesigned to be far more intuitive for the hearing aid users. 
I'm actually really pleased to hear this as the previous Starkey app, Thrive, wasn't the easiest to use. Now, if you were a big fan of Starkey's previous features from their other hearing aids, then there's no need to panic. All of their great features from the Evolve AI are used as a foundation for this new technology, including various unique features, such as their Edge Mode Plus, which uses the deep neural network to prioritize clearer speech or listening comfort, or even their language translation, which they've boosted from 27 to 77 different languages now, and they've even kept their built-in 3D sensors for health and wellness tracking. Just when you thought that 2023 was coming to an end and there couldn't possibly be any more new hearing aid technology to get excited about, the Danish hearing aid giants Resound have announced their next generation of premium hearing aids, the Resound Nexia family. Today's announcement includes four brand new premium hearing aids, plus the beginning of an entirely new family of hearing aid accessories. So if I were you, I would stick around for just a couple of minutes and I'll share exactly when they're available from. My thoughts on their new features, two of which involves ReSound finally catching up with the competition, and another which I'm incredibly excited by as they're definitely ahead of the game with it. So very briefly now, rewinding back to October 2022, this is when ReSound released their Omnia family of hearing aids, which initially came out just as a receiver in Canal style, and then they gradually added to this portfolio. And I have to say, I'm pretty surprised by today's announcement, as it falls short of the usual biannual release of new technology that we tend to see from every hearing aid manufacturer. So the big question is, what exactly have ReSound got in store for us today? Initially, the new Nexia hearing aids are all available in a receiver in canal style, with the hearing aid itself sitting behind the ear and a thin wire running down and into your ear canal. The Nexia RIE 13 uses a size 13 disposable battery and has a built-in telecoil. The Nexia 312 uses a size 312 disposable battery and has no built-in telecoil. And then we have the Nexia Micro RIE, which ReSound are boasting is their smallest and most comfortable rechargeable hearing aid to date, coming in at 25% smaller than their standard receiver in canal hearing aids with a single charge giving a whopping 30 hours of battery life per charge. And then finally, ReSound have a brand new cross system, developed for any of you out there with single-sided deafness. So what exactly are ReSound boasting as their improvements today? As I mentioned earlier, I am delighted that ReSound have finally caught up with their competition. So for example, Phonak, Unitron, Starkey, Insignia, and introduced accelerometers into their micro RIE hearing aids. Accelerometers have been used in hearing aids for years now, firstly to identify if you're either stationary or moving, adapting the direction of the microphones accordingly towards the most likely direction of speech. And then secondly, allowing you to answer phone calls with a double tap of your ears, similarly to a set of Apple AirPods. The second new feature that ReSound have introduced into their hearing aid portfolio, which in my opinion is long overdue, is a cross system. This technology is specifically designed for somebody with an unaidable hearing loss in one side, i.e. no hearing at all, and either normal hearing or a hearing loss that requires a hearing aid in the other. A cross system is essentially a transmitter that detects any sound that arrives to your poorer hearing sight and then wirelessly transmits it to the better hearing ear, giving you access to the world of sound in 360 degrees. For example, if you're sat on a train with your unaidable ear towards a friend, a cross system would transmit their voice to a hearing aid in your better hearing ear, allowing you to hear them. So, whilst accelerometers and cross systems aren't new technology, they are to resound. And so, in my opinion, it's great news that they've closed the gap between themselves and the competition. Out of curiosity now, are either of these features of any interest to you? Let me know in the comments beneath this video. So, moving on to resound's brand new claims with Nexia. Firstly, they're boasting that they've developed their hearing aids for better speech understanding in background noise, which is all down to their signature combination of four microphone binaural beamforming and omnidirectional listening, providing you with a perfect balance of environmental sound and speech clarity. Whilst they haven't really expanded with any further information on this development just yet, which I would have quite liked, their research is showing an improvement over and above their Omnia family of hearing aids when it comes to hearing in background noise. For their second new feature now, I want you to close your eyes for me for a second and imagine a world where you can walk into a football stadium and your hearing aids will connect to the commentator. Or imagine walking into a train station and then the train announcements appear directly into both of your hearing aids. 
Or even imagine arriving to a place of worship and you can hear everything that's being said with perfect clarity and distinction. This new wave of audio connectivity is called LE Audio and is installed within the Nexia hearing aids. And in the next few years, we'll start to see AuraCast broadcasted audio replace the century old loop systems that are currently built into public venues and will allow for multiple hearing aid users to simultaneously connect to audio in public spaces, all with an improvement in sound quality and significantly lower battery consumption too. From my understanding, both ReSound and Signia are currently the only manufacturers to introduce this technology into their hearing aids, all in readiness for AuraCast installations to roll out throughout the US and the rest of the world. And I have to say, well done ReSound, because I think that the possibilities are endless when it comes to this technology. And my final announcement today is a brand new TV accessory. It's called ReSound's TV Streamer Plus, and it connects to your television and streams the TV audio utilizing this AuraCast technology directly to both of your hearing aids, reproducing the television sound, taking into account your hearing loss. And this is all without disturbing the television for anybody else watching either. So you should never struggle to watch your favorite TV show again. Now, all of this new technology is being rolled out globally, starting with the US on October the 12th, 2023. Hey guys, it's Matthew here from Hearing Tracker, keeping you up to date with all new hearing aid technology. We have absolutely been showered with Phonak hearing aids over 2022. Seriously, this is the most hearing aids that I've seen released from a single manufacturer in one year in the 15 plus years that I've been involved in audiology. So the big question is, is there really any difference between the Audeo Paradise and Audeo Lumity? Today, I'm sharing everything that I know so far. If you're keen on keeping up to date with the latest news in the hearing technology world, then make sure that you subscribe to this channel, press that gray notifications bell, and you'll be updated every time we release a new video. Phonak released the Phonak Paradise Hearing Aid family in the summer of 2020 and have gradually added to the portfolio with their various styles from the standard Ordeo receiver and canal hearing aids, the Naida behind the ear hearing aids, their Verto in-the-ear hearing aids, and then more recently, we saw the addition of the Ordeo Life waterproof hearing aid, and finally, the Ordeo Fit. This is Phonax Health Monitoring Hearing Aid. What more could they possibly have for us? Well, trawling through their media pack, which is the information that the manufacturers circulate to the press and audiologists when a new hearing aid is going to be released, I was still none the wiser. So we have a man talking at a conference, a hearing aid with a shoe, hearing aids with other computers, hearing aids with some delicious cakes, and finally, a lady excitingly splashing a man in a kayak. Nope, I've still got no idea. So I delved a little deeper and investigated with my good old friends at Phonak, and I may have some inside knowledge, which as of today, I can share with you. Physically, we're not seeing any big changes at all from the Paradise family, so visually it's quite similar. There are three models available, the Ordeo Lumity R, which is rechargeable, the Ordeo Lumity RT, which is rechargeable with the Telecoil, and finally the Ordeo Lumity RL, which is rechargeable and their life version, which is their waterproof hearing aid. You'll notice from that list that this is the first portfolio of hearing aids that Phonak have ever released that are solely rechargeable with no standard battery version. There's also no sign of any disposable battery option for the time being, but my sources do tell me that this is something that Phonak will be launching at an undisclosed date way into the future. There will also be three different chargers available for these hearing aids, one for the Lumity R and RT, and a separate one for the Lumity Life, which is available both with and without the power bank, giving an additional three days of battery life without the need to be connected to a power source. So what developments are we going to see with these hearing aids when we've literally only just seen additions to the Phonak Paradise range? After a few recent, let's say, interesting choices for development in hearing tech, such as the Phonak Fit, which monitors your health, Phonak have decided to hone in on the basics again, and I'm delighted to be feeding this back to you today. Lumity's main focus is on speech understanding in background noise. Tens of thousands of hearing aid users have recently taken Hearing Tracker's Hearing Aid Recommendation Survey, which I'll link in the description to today's video. And there's one thing that's clear. 
the top priority for consumers year after year is better hearing in background noise. So that's why I am very pleased to say that it looks like we have a manufacturer that's finally starting to take this seriously. It looks like Lumity will run all of the same features as the Phonak Paradise receiver in the Canal family. However, with two key feature developments. Phonak have named these improvements Smart Speech Technology, and they run under a new automatic program, AutoSense 5.0. The first of these developments is Phonak's first ever update of their stereo zoom to version 2.0. And secondly, they've introduced a brand new feature called Speech Sensor, which I'll cover both of them in a little bit more detail now. Stereo zoom is Phonak's directional microphone technology. This is a feature that Phonak have had in their hearing aids for almost 10 years now since their Quest platform, which has really remained unchanged for this entire time. Breaking this down into simple terms, this feature is designed to focus the microphones of the hearing aids forwards when the hearing aid user is in a noisy place, such as a restaurant or a bar, with the hope that you want to hear whatever you're looking at. Phonak are boasting that this Stereo Zoom 2.0 is their smoother, smarter, and stronger binaural beamformer. So what does this mean in practice? Rather than the directional beamforming either being on or off, as it is with the Paradise range, it will be adaptive to the noise around the user and therefore have a slower, more gradual and smoother activation in such a way that it will give the optimum strength of stereo zoom based on the sound environment. The advantage of this is that it should keep a greater awareness of the environmental sounds as well as the person in front when the noise levels are a little bit lower. And then as the noise levels increase, there's a gradual focus on the person in front and hopefully should remove that trapped in and bubble blocked off feeling when you're in background noise resulting in a 16% better speech understanding compared to fixed directional settings in previous versions of Stereo Zoom. Plus, the hearing aid user also has a manual override option in the updated MyPhonak app. Now, building on this, the Stereo 2.0 will be combined with a completely new speech sensor feature. Speech sensor is a 360 degree speech detection algorithm, allowing you to hear more conversations from both the left, the right, or behind. Phonak state that 80% of conversations generally come in front of us on a day-to-day -day basis. However, there are another 20% coming from the behind or to the side. The downside of older directional microphone technologies is that they're designed to focus so aggressively towards the sound in front that it can cut out that 20% of speech coming from the other directions. This speech sensor feature is designed to identify conversations happening close by from the directions other than in front and open up the directional beamformer in a less noisy situation to a more omnidirectional setting, allowing you to pick up that speech without necessarily having to turn your head towards the person speaking. This in itself should result in an improvement by 3.4 in terms of the signal to noise ratio and a 15% better speech understanding when somebody's speaking to you from the side or from behind. Yep, they've only gone and done it again. Signia have released five new hearing aids as of today, and I've got to tell you, I'm pretty excited by them. Three weeks ago, I had the pleasure of being invited to the Signia HQ to get the lowdown on this latest technology. And I've been sworn to silence until now. Meet the Signia Pure Charge and Go IX, the Pure Charge and Go TIX, the Pure Charge and Go IX Cross, and last but definitely not least, the Silk Charge and Go IX and the Silk Charge and Go IX Cross. Uh huh, that's right, you heard me correctly. I said Silk Charge and Go IX, meaning that these are the world's first rechargeable CIC hearing aids. So in my opinion, you should definitely stick around to learn whether they're suitable for you, what their unique features are for improving your hearing, especially with their new technology focusing on background noise, and finally, what I hope Signia have done better than when they released their last round of new hearing aid technology. Now, by the way, if you haven't yet figured this out for yourself, this is the first place that you'll hear about new hearing aid technology. So if you haven't subscribed yet, you should 100% click just here and you'll be notified as soon as any new hearing aid technology is released. As of the 5th of September 2023, you'll be able to get your hands on Signia's new IX family of hearing aids, which stands for Integrated Experience. These five new hearing aids will supersede their AX receiver and canal hearing aids, which were released in May 2021 and the Signia Silk X, which was released way back when in the summer of 2020. The Silk X never actually made it to the AX platform, so it's been long overdue for an update. Yet despite that, they still made it into my best invisible hearing aids for 2023. However, I rightly predicted that there would soon be something new in the pipeline from Signia, 
Well, I'm delighted to say that here it is. However, today's announcement is way more exciting than I could have ever predicted. So let's dive into some of the details on this new chip. It runs all of the same features as its predecessor, the AX chip, however, with a few key developments. These new hearing aids will analyze 192,000 data points per second related to your environment, deciding on the most appropriate way for the hearing aids to react to optimize the listening situation for you. And when I explain how they do this, it's going to blow your mind. Directional beamforming, in a nutshell, is when the microphones on your hearing aids work together when you're in a noisy environment, and they heavily focus on what's in front of you with the view to avoid picking up sounds that you're not looking at. So if you're in a restaurant, for example, they aim to focus the microphone on the person sat in front of you. Now, for any seasoned experts out there, you'll know that this concept isn't new whatsoever. However, Signia are boasting that they've taken this technology to the next level with their new real-time conversation enhancement technology. I've got that right the first time. This analyzes, augments, and adapts the dynamic flow of conversations, meaning that these hearing aids not only focus the microphones forwards when you're in background noise, but this is the clever part. They're also capable of accurately pinpointing multiple moving speakers in real-time conversations and adapting the microphones to follow those conversations. Wow. So. I guess the big question is, what does that mean for you? Signia claim that with this faster processing, the hearing aids are not only detecting who you're speaking to, but also monitoring their movement, and in fact, locking onto them, and then updating the microphone position a thousand times per second, tracking and highlighting each person speaking amongst the background noise, and then adapting to their movement, which should allow you to more easily follow conversations with minimal effort in background noise. Signia studies show that with this technology, 95% of their participants showed improved performance with this feature enabled. I mean, if this is true, then this is officially game-changing technology. So let's take a look at them, starting with the Pure Charge and Go IX and the Pure Charge and Go TIX. You'll see that they're both receiver and canal styles and therefore suitable if you have a mild, moderate, severe or profound hearing loss. Both hearing aids sport built-in Bluetooth to allow you to directly connect your hearing aids to your iPhone and Android smartphones. And they're both fully rechargeable, with the Pure Charge and Go providing 24 hours of runtime on a single charge, and the Pure Charge and Go TIX a whopping 34 hours per charge. Of the two, only the Pure Charge and Go TIX has a built-in telecoil, which allows you to connect to loop systems installed in public venues. If you're not familiar with the benefits of a loop system, then check out this brilliant overview on how they work and how to access them, which I'll link in the description to today's video. And finally, they're both cross-compatible, which I'll come on to shortly. Now, of course, I'm incredibly excited by these new receiver and canal models of hearing aids and their new features for background noise. But at the same time, there's one thing that they're not, and that's the world's first and only rechargeable, completely in canal prescription hearing aids such as the Signia Silk Charge and Go IX. Now, differently to other CIC hearing aids, these are ready to wear devices and therefore don't require an impression to be taken of your ear with interchangeable domes for the end to suit the shape and size of your ear. A single charge will give you 24 hours of life. And for the first time, they come with a neat little case, which has three days worth of power built in so that you can charge on the go. In my opinion, there is no question that these are going to be a hit as clearly Signia are looking to other industries and continuing to bridge the gap between hearing aid technology and other earbud technology. Now the discretion does come at a cost, however, and the Signia silks don't have Bluetooth capabilities. So if you're interested in streaming phone calls or media, such as the radio, music, or podcasts, your hearing aids from your phone, then a pure charge and go will be the most appropriate option for you. Now, if you're also sat there wondering what all this talk is about the pure charge and go IX Cross, and the Silk IX Cross, then I'll fill you in on the last two hearing aids being launched today. These cross systems are designed for somebody with an unaidable hearing loss in one ear, i.e. no hearing at all, and either normal hearing or a hearing loss that requires a hearing aid in the other. A cross system is essentially a transmitter that detects any sound that arrives on your poorer hearing side, and then it transmits it wirelessly to the better hearing ear, giving you access to the world of sound around you in 360 degrees and they can have a really positive impact. So for example, if you're sat in the passenger seat of a car with your unaidable ear towards the driver, a cross system would transmit the driver's voice to a hearing aid in your better hearing ear, thus allowing you to hear them. Is that cool or what? 
The Silt wins another point here now for not only being the only CIC cross system that's out there, but also the world's first rechargeable CIC cross hearing aid. So my only request to Signia is please, please, please make sure there's plenty of stock ready as this tech sounds pretty awesome and I just hope you can keep up with the demand. Not that this has ever been an issue in the past, has it Signia? I'm excited to get them into a few years and you should definitely be excited to try them out. Let's hope that they live up to the hype. Out of curiosity for anybody watching, which is the most appealing to you? The discretion of Silk or the Bluetooth and noise reduction features of the Pure Charge and Go? Let me know in the comments beneath this video and I'll reply with my thoughts. Hey guys, it's Matthew here from Hearing Tracker, keeping you up to date with all new hearing aid technology. Today, we're talking sheer perfection. Well, according to Widex at least, in this video, I'm covering Widex's recent launch of the Widex Moment Shear hearing aids. If you're keen on keeping up to date with the latest news in the hearing technology world, then make sure that you subscribe to this channel press that gray notifications bell and you'll be updated every time we release a new video. Widex released their Moment receiver and canal hearing aids just over two years ago now. And at the time I took a trip to their headquarters in Denmark to see just what all the fuss was about. With the work that I do both in clinic and online, I do a fair few visits to the hearing aid manufacturers to ensure that I have as much information as possible to share with you guys at home. And it's safe to say that when the Widex moment was released, I have never seen a bunch of people so excited about a new hearing aid. Now, fast forward two years. And for the last few weeks, I have been stalked online with this teaser advert, which when clicked, it took me through to a launch video for the Widex Shear from Soren Nielsen. It didn't really give too much away, just promising pure and natural sound and improvements in difficult listening situations. So what exactly is the Widex Shear all about? In typical Widex fashion, the team seem to be very excited again about this brand new product and are boasting that they have united their entire flagship range of products under one refined design philosophy. Yet after researching and then researching a little bit more, I found it really difficult on this occasion to find out exactly what the Widex Shear was all about. I even took it upon myself to take a look on Dr. Cliff's channel and still nothing. And then I finally cracked it. I will call this mini launch of new tech less of a launch and more of a, let's say, gentle introduction to some tweaks of the Widex Moment family, of which I could count six in total, which I'll share with you now. Firstly, they're bringing out the new S receiver and canal hearing aid known as their Moment s -Rick. Now, you may be thinking, Matthew, what are you talking about? This is clearly a brand new hearing aid and you just told us that there was no new technology. Well, yes and no. This hearing aid will take over from the Widex MRIC that's been around for about two years now. And as far as the insides of this hearing aid go, it's the same Widex moment that you're used to with rechargeability, pure sound technology, direct streaming from iOS and Android devices, integrated AI, et cetera, et cetera. So as far as I'm aware, there's no significant change when it comes to performance. However, there are some physical changes with this hearing aid. They have redesigned the casing with the main design change coming down to the microphone ports, of which Widex are boasting that this creates a sound like no other hearing aid with an extra cushioning underneath the microphone grid. They haven't really expanded on how this has an impact on the sound. And to be honest, I would be really keen to know. So if there's anyone out there from Widex watching this video, please reach out in the comments and fill in some of the gaps for us. Widex's second development today is the charger for these new hearing aids. So along with the new Widex Moment SRIC is the new SRIC charger. They've improved it by removing the lid, which is a welcome change as I didn't really see the point of that in the previous charger anyway. And they've also added a stainless steel trim, plus made it a little bit weightier, which gives it more of a solid quality feel than that of the previous charger. Now, heading over to their app, Widex were the first to integrate artificial intelligence in their hearing aids a few generations of technology ago. Similarly to Signia, Widex involve you, the hearing aid user, in a process of defining the best hearing aid settings specifically for you. With MySound 2.0, you are presented with two alternative settings for your hearing aids. And very simply, you have to choose between which is the most appropriate for you in that particular environment. Over time, this evolution of the settings teaches the hearing aids to automatically adjust to your preferences when you're in similar environments going forwards. 
Widex are now boasting that these A to B comparisons have been updated to include compression preferences as well, which results in over 10 times more comparisons than the original MySound in the previous version of this technology. Okay, so Widex Shear update number four is that they've redesigned the TV Play, which is their TV streamer, which when plugs into the TV, streams the sound directly to both of your hearing aids. As far as I'm aware, there's no development in terms of the quality of sound, so there's not really much more to say on that. Now, it might feel a little bit like I'm clutching at straws here, but there are some more interesting things coming up, so just bear with me a second. The penultimate improvement is that Widex have released three new styles of ear tip for the end of your hearing aids the open round dome, sleeve power, and sleeve vented. Now, to give you a little history of fitting Widex hearing aids, I'm normally quite selective about the patients that I'll fit with them. The reason why, I personally find that they're a little bit more prone to feedback than other hearing aid manufacturers. Of course, I have raised this with Widex over the years, and they claim that it's because if a stronger feedback management system is introduced, then it would compromise the natural quality of the sound that these hearing aids produce. Whilst I do respect and understand the theory behind that, it does limit those that I can fit with the Widex hearing aids. So it's music to my ears that Widex have developed these tips with varied amounts of venting on them to create different levels of seal and fingers crossed should help with controlling feedback. So I'm hoping that with these new generic tips, I can open up my criteria and fit more patients with Widex hearing aids. These new tips should also work across the Widex receiver and canal range, so not just with these new S rigs. And the final addition to this expansion of the Widex family is their new Sound Relax feature. These are sounds that appear alongside Widex's Zen settings and include eight new sounds utilizing Widex's fractal tones, which are a form of tinnitus sound enrichment therapy, which is very unique to Widex. If you want to know more about Widex fractal tones, check out this video in which I cover them in great depth and play sound samples so you can hear exactly how they sound. With Sound Relax, Widex are hoping to expand the use of this feature from the Zen tones being mainly aimed at those with tinnitus to these new Sound Relax fractal tones being used by everybody with a Widex hearing aid, with the aim to create peace and harmony. The new sounds include relaxing tones and nature sounds and are designed to provide relaxation and provide acoustic stimulation simultaneously. Listening to them, they're a little softer than the existing Zen tones and provide an improved synchronization between your ears compared to their old Widex Zen tones. So I hope that I've managed to shed some light on the new Widex Moment Shear developments. If I'm 100% honest, I was hoping for something huge and revolutionary in terms of an update to compete with the new hearing aids that we've seen with Widex's competitors of late. However, there's no sign of that just yet. 